Syria's main opposition group has followed through on its threat to suspend involvement in peace talks after a spate of airstrikes killed up to 50 people and wounded scores more. They're the worst attacks since a halt in hostilities was announced in February and they've come just days after the talks began. Two busy markets in the Idlib province were hit by airstrikes around midday. A bomb hit this vegetable market with devastating results. In the chaos that followed, shoppers and storekeepers scrambled to carry the injured to care. Around 50 people were killed in the two attacks and scores wounded. While further south in Homs province, two other rebel-held areas were struck. Rebel groups say barrel bombs were used. It's not certain who carried out the attacks, but rebels and the US blame the Syrian regime. The majority of the violations have been by the regime. Uh, we have reason to believe at this point um, that that was the case with this particular uh, uh, bombing. These are the deadliest attacks yet since a fragile truce began seven weeks ago and peace talks which resumed only this week are now on the verge of collapse. We will not accept any negotiations here in Geneva while our people are dying of hunger and of bombardment. Syrian opposition groups say they're pulling out of the talks unless the truce is restored and they insist there's no solution while Bashar al-Assad remains in power, an option his government says is not on the table. It's not the business of anybody in Geneva. It happens when the Syrian people decide. Despite these latest airstrikes, the US remains optimistic the peace talks will resume. But that's no solace for those on the ground. Anne Barker, ABC News.